tough right there. Again, it's one of those situations when there's a role and it's the judgment call of the official to figure out, did the person have control right there? And obviously he felt that he had enough control, stopped the momentum, and everything moves on. Very big win for Virginia Tech. Battle of North Carolina, 184 pounds. Semifinals on the consolation side. It's Scott Marmol, the sophomore. Going to bounce back from an 8-1 decision loss to the hands of Tyler Askey earlier today. He's wrestling from North Carolina State. Nikki Hall, the freshman, at 10-7 on the year. Hall lost in the semis to Casper of Duke. Second on the pack this year with four falls, including a couple of pins in ACC action. One of the falls against who he's staring down right now at Marmol from North Carolina. Into this tournament, kind of hot, having won six of his last eight matches dating back to January 11th. He sprained an ankle earlier in the year, and that really limited what he could do on the mat. In fact, he, he wrestled only twice, two matches before January. Healthy and ready to go. One of four freshmen, one of four true freshmen, Bob Lizio. Our first look today at Nikki Hall. His father, Nick, one of the great wrestlers, remember his days back at Old Dominion. We finished fifth at the NCAA tournament in 95. But the following year, he was ranked third but suffered serious spinal injury. The national quarterfinals could not continue that year. Great wrestler in his day and now watching his son, enjoying his son's efforts in Raleigh, a career just getting started. See that front headlock applied by Nicky right, Hall. It looks pretty, pretty tight around that neck now. Marmol wisely backpedals and gets to the safety of the out-of-bounds for a restart in the center. Marmol, he can take shots, he takes high crotches, but he just doesn't get his hips underneath as much as I'm sure Coach Mock and Coach Coleman Scott would like for him to have. I remind you, double match coverage all day long here on ESPN3. Joe Cesari, Dean Linky providing the coverage over a mat number two. Semifinals and the consolations at 184. Your play-by-play -play coverage, mat number one, alongside Rock Harris and Sean Kinney with you from Pittsburgh. What a great host city to have this tournament, the ACC, and enjoyed our stay. Excitement may be swelling for quite a team battle tonight for the finals. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's what makes conference wrestling so exciting. It's just you never know what's going to happen. Upsets here and there. Pins here and there. Guys are scraping and fighting to get to the NCAAs. All of Marmol continue to jockey. Let's, let's kind of continue the conversation we left off as far as the preparation. We've already... Guaranteed a number of guys who will be heading to St. Louis. So now you you wait for the you know the brackets to come out. Take us through the the process then, as far as guys getting familiar with who they're going to face. Well, the first thing that happens once the brackets come out, the coaches immediately talk about the guy that they have in front of them. And so they get they get them prepped, get them prepped, and get them prepped. And then the second thing that happens, they start to look ahead, not to tell their their wrestler who's next, but the coaching staff knows well. Next person that they may may uh, may wrestle wrestles like this, or the other guy may wrestle like this. So it's the coach's responsibility to kind of know what may be ahead, but not really tell the wrestler what's ahead. But a good coaching staff gets their their notes together, so whomever wins, they know what's happening. But it's a lot easier with the um, with the things that are online, and also a lot easier with as many things you can just get on your your phone. So you may win a match, and then you can just. Do a little Google search and see the guy that you have to wrestle and just look at it for a little bit. So, again, a lot different than, than you know, the older era where you would literally have to ask someone, do you have team on this someone at the NCAAs, as opposed to right now when you can pull it up on your phone and, and see 
the next person that you want to wrestle. Yeah, the power of social media, the power of the internet. You mentioned those phone calls back in the day. Lots of times, former coaches that had moved on to other locations across the country. You rely on some old allies to give the scoop, but now everything pretty much viral. You can find it anywhere you check. That's good for the sport. You know, you talk about the increasing popularity and in, in making the sport known as it all shoots in. Marmol trying to come over the top of it. So what Marmol can do is lock around the waist. Push the head down. Now he's got to square up. Square up. If he reaches back with his right hand, he can break the grip. Or he can push the knees back and scoot away. But he's got to break the grip either by scooting away or reaching back to pull the fingers apart. Again, you can pull four fingers apart. You just can't bend them back. Marmol dodges trouble. Still trails just one nothing in the second period. Good shot by Hall. The only thing he has to do is get his head to you left side or right side, he got caught right in the middle, it makes it a little more difficult to finish there. Armol has bumped up a couple of weight classes this year for C.D. Mott. Wrestled at 174 at the ACC tournament a year ago. I've been a streaky on and off wrestler since returning from an injury in early January. Lost four, won four in a row. Hands call, and this would be Marmol getting the point. Hall locking him up. 1 1, riding time not a factor in this third period. Nicky Hall assumes the top position again. Grab the ankle, now he flattens out Marmol. Escape gives him the lead. Question is, can he get free from the grips of Nicky Hall? See Hall with that waist apply plus control of the right shoulder, the right arm. Now, what Hall did. Hop to the right side to get the elbow in to look for uh, an arm bar. And then he popped to the other side to bring that elbow to the person's back. So again, the little navy ride right there. Almost like against him. Tough work by the coach. I think he all. Staff of USC is encouraging Marmol to get to his feet. It looks like he might get a switch. Scooted his hips out, got the switch. Now up three to one. Three one lead late in the third period. Potentially dangerous. Left leg of Hall bent backwards, so they will restart in the center. Nikki Hall, all of a sudden trailing, is going to have to get okay. something generated That's quickly. Okay. The official warned NC State he came on to the inner circle, stomping his feet. That's easy. Once you come on to the inner circle, that's a warning for, for control of the man. Hall with that cross face, he has Hall completely flattened out. Hall slowly and gradually trying to get back to his base. But he is running out of time at Marmol of North Carolina. Going to pull off this victory in the third period. A solid win for the redshirt sophomore from Marietta, Georgia. Weight class that only had two spots.